It's William here, the Bangkok voice coach, and there is a huge tropical storm outside. Damn pours, thunder, lightning, and crazy wind, and that's what happens here in Southeast Asia. Suddenly, these storms come out of nowhere, and they are quite biblical, but they're also quite exciting. And this is going to be the most wonderful Dimash video, and I ask you to stick around towards the end because he shows not only that he's the world's greatest singer, but he's also an amazing virtuoso on a traditional instrument from Kazakhstan. And he's just introducing it now. This instrument, called Kobos, is a Kazakh traditional instrument, the oldest string instrument on the planet. Ooh. The most oldest. So, First, with hopes we can sing it later. First, I want to sing in, uh, my colored card. When I was Indeed, 22 this is years old, card. I do performance in Chinese song competition. I'm a singer, so please uh, listen this song. I love that. Special for you, dear Please ladies and gentlemen. SOS Tang Tao Yan. And this is at, at a conference in Munich, and he's just been introduced. Uh, I think it's a DLD innovation conference, and so it's sort of like a private event. <laughs> Straight into that vocal from speaking. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> It's in a very, very special place, halfway between heaven and earth. I remember the first time I heard this, it was about seven months ago, and I could not believe it. And to a large degree, when I hear it now, I am still mesmerized and also intrigued by how he does it. I can see that his larynx is in a way floating there, and he can lower it down, just particularly on that last note, to get this darker connected sound. But he can also let it, let it rise up a little bit and put a little bit more breath through. And this is how he creates this different kind of color. Just touching them lightly. Never pushing. Mm, I get it. Sometimes these videos show more than a big production where everything's 
further away and there's a big band and there's a lot of uh, lighting and a big crowd but this is small and in a sense you're just really up close and personal and I can see more what he's doing and this is interesting because I think that he's got an amazing amount of breath control going on although we can't see I think that he's using these muscles a lot and he's allowing the air to come out quite slowly so it's never pushing around here he never grips there are these muscles that they can use around the larynx look at them there they, they can grip on and it's very tempting to just do that and when you do that you run into troubles this is when you run into register changes and it starts to sound a bit forced so he never grips and he doesn't let the air come out too quickly especially as he goes up higher he's sort of surfing on the air like a surfboard he's uh, riding the waves and he's not digging in he's allowing it to take him where he needs to go and that is masterful singing What a master of his instrument. He's actually singing with a bel canto technique. He is very much in control of his breath. So it's not coming out fast and he's never gripping around here. And this is what allows him to go up and down like an elevator in his, in, in his uh, range. But he's also got an exceptionally good physiology for singing. And he's also got genetic uh, information that he's inherited from both parents that help him to assimilate voice and so Dimash, not many people know that kazakhstan has two famous instruments the yeah. koi boos and also is coming here to show us how to play it but also this is the dombra very famous instrument from kazakhstan and do you play the dombra just a little bit i'm not dombra man i'm not the uh, dombra man i'm gonna try Okay. I'm gonna try to do my best, okay? okay. This is amazing. He okay. sits down and plays. I absolutely cannot believe this. He he is is so talented. What a musician. And this takes courage too, because when it's not your main instrument and you just sung and you you know your voice is your thing, to sit down in front of people and play something that you may not be as confident is really courageous and I think shares a lot about himself. He shares his culture and he shares his family and his upbringing with the audience. And he's like an ambassador for his country traveling the world. This composition called al uh, composer, Urvisat Lindy. Oh my God, I'm nervous, really. <laughs>
two strings. Listen to that rhythm, it's so packed and so strong and perfect, and the tuning and the How many great singers or great musicians on an instrument like this? In a way that, like, makes <laughs> me even more speechless. Because, um, well, I know he can sing, and I've been, you know, experiences singing for the last seven months uh, very, very frequently. But he never ceases to amaze me that he can sit down and play like that. And it just goes to prove that his training is so perfect, immaculate. He's got a classical training in the voice. He knows how to play instruments like this. He's a composer. He's brought up with music all around him. He's proud of the traditional music of his country and he's an ambassador for Kazakhstan as he travels the world. And well, he is literally one in a billion. How many people exist on the planet like this? Well, not very many. You tell me what you think. One, two, three, maybe. Thanks for watching. It's William here in Thailand. See you soon.